developing a similar trophy uh, for mid-range. And it will honor uh, James Conway, who was the pioneer in F-Class in the state of Texas. Uh, some of you may have seen the trophy that he generated back in the 90s. Uh, that trophy will end up something like that uh, with the, the multiple uh, disciplines so that all can participate and be a part of uh, the mid-range championship as well, as well which occurs uh, September, October this year. Okay. <clears throat> Safety briefing. Disruptive behavior will not be tolerated by your rifles officers and match officials are authorized to disqualify that competitor and ask the individual to leave the property. Please observe the posted 10 mile an hour speed limit. There's porta potties and restrooms on the range. Please use them. There's three porta potties here. The main restrooms at the front of the range and there's one in the pits. No smoking on the firing line or the concrete walkway in the pits. Please leave space for people to walk behind the firing line. That's so that I can make the calls or check on the challenges or whatever's happening up and down the line. Please keep conversations away from the firing line during live fire. When you're finished shooting, I know you want to talk about your great last shot, even though it was a six, but I want you to move back there to brag about your three o'clock six that you called a nine o'clock X, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> Eye and hearing protection is required in the pits. If you go to the pits, you do have to have hearing and eye protection. Yes, sir. Yes. That's not working. The, the other one's in my the back of my truck. <clears throat> Anyone can call a ceasefire for any safety issue. If a ceasefire is indeed called, release, relay the ceasefire command to the other shooters. Insert ECIs in all rifles. Pull all targets into the pits. Wait for instructions from the match director. Rifles shall be pointed downrange during uncasing, handling, uh, loading, firing, unloading, and recasing. That's that away. <laughs> Level loading rule. The rifle must be pointed at the ground or the impact firm when the bolt is closed. It is acceptable to point the rifle upwards after the bolt is closed, but the finger must not be in the trigger guard. Removable magazines and sleds must be removed from rifles except during prep and live fire while on buy rifles property. An ECI must be inserted in the rifle at all times while the rifle is on the range except during prep or live fire. Contact me if you need an ECI. Does anybody not have an empty chamber indicator? Big bright yellow. Great, thank you. Rifles are not allowed on the firing line unless the pits are sealed. After the command, move your equipment to the firing line has been given. You may then handle your rifle. The ECI must remain in the rifle and uh, magazines cannot be inserted until the start of prep time. Before the pits are unsealed, rifles must be 10 feet to the rear of the firing line or in a closed case or in the rifle racks provided. Before the pits are unsealed, all targets must be all the way down into the pits. You must be on target within seven rounds for all matches. If your bullets are keyholing on target or you cannot stay on target, you'll be asked to stop firing because you're a safety hazard. When pulling targets, the goal is 10 to 12 seconds per shot. If you take longer, ask for instruction or look at other target pullers to improve your technique. I understand most of you have pullers. If pit service is slow, I need to know that in the event that you need extra time. So be sure you let me know that. Uh, shut down at the end of the day. We will reface all the targets, uh, pick up all the trash, carriers all the way up in the air. We'll leave the flags up because we're shooting again tomorrow. Remember, safety first, safety last, and safety always. Are there any questions? Great. Now that I have your attention, I call the TSRA meeting of the high power shooters to order. Course of business. We need a nomination for the director of long range, mid range for uh, next year. I currently hold that position. I'm open the floor to nominations. I nominate Ben Brooks. A second. <laughs> <Ben Brooks. laughs> Wait a minute, I'm running this meeting. <laughs> that being the case, are there any other business to be had uh, taken care of by high power? Shooters. I will point out one other thing. One of the things uh, I already mentioned, we're, we're building the, the mid-range trophy, similar in stature to our long-range trophy. The other thing is I'm rearranging how funding occurs for the development of our future teams. Service Rifle has done an outstanding job of appointing Dan Ramsey and putting together a junior high-power program, and they're literally self-funded now between their fundraisers and things like that. 
We are in the process of developing uh, state and national teams. We already have that for the service rifle. Uh, and we're in the process of doing that as well for mid-range and long-range. If you have an interest in that, I need to know that. The plan is to develop um, a procedure for which people can qualify for these respective teams. Uh, someone will be named captain, coach, and team members, and off you go. And there will be some funding available from TSRA, partly which comes from your entry fee to this match. For example, long-range participants, their fee goes towards the long-range national teams. Mid-range participants will go towards the mid-range um, national teams. Service rifle and high power will go towards the service rifle teams. Any questions on that? If you have ideas or concerns, please address them to me. Or if you don't like me, go ahead, bypass me, go straight to Dorsey, president of TSRA. Let her chew me out. Anything else? Great. We have uh, practically a full house today. I think only one, two, three, four uh, firing points have three shooters. Everything else is four shooters, so we will run four relays. Okay. Nothing else. No more. All right, Glenn, you ready? Uh, we're going to have roll call on the line. Roll call on the line. Please proceed to your firing point so we can verify that all shooters are here. Okay. Stand by for color. So the first day of individuals, it's in the books. Um, uh, I dropped 10 points for the day at 1,000 today. It's not a terrible performance, but uh, I'm about four to five points from the leader. I'm not exactly sure. but So tomorrow we have two more relays, uh, 1,000 yards, 20 shots. So there's 400 points to go. I'm really hoping the wind picks up so that I can you know, try to make up some ground. But, you know, overall, it is what it is. It's, uh, sometimes things work out, sometimes they don't. But, I'm, uh, again, I'm hoping for some wind, because uh, that'll be the, the only chance <laughs> I may have at uh, gaining some ground. If it's a trigger pulling contest, then, you know, there's so many good shooters here. So there's no way. Uh, I'll catch anybody if it's a trigger pulling contest because I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of cleans being shot but anyway I'll uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow in the meantime I decided to clean the rifle here at the range instead of going back to the room and uh, cleaning it over there uh, it's uh, three o'clock right now we're supposed to go to lunch or I guess early dinner at 4:30. Uh, I'm going with some of the members of Team McMillan and uh, I decided instead of going back to the apartment and uh, you know cleaning the rifle and all that I can just do it here and when I'm done it should be time to go eat. I can go eat and then uh, 
go back to the apartment and uh, take a shower and take it easy the rest of the day. I still have to see bullets and uh, you know as you guys know I do that every day but that shouldn't take me that long. Once the rifle's clean everything goes pretty quick. But uh, anyway, uh, beautiful Houston, Texas. It's, uh, it's not too hot. It's about 80 degrees right now. It was about in the 50s this morning, so pretty nice, pretty nice weather. Today is uh, April 28th, so if you've never been to a Texas State Championship, come on and try your luck next year. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. So we'll see. Forty down for the whole meet. Thirteen. But your eggshell's pretty high. Nice. They're gonna do the scores. Everything was good. What target were you on? Nineteen. Nineteen. I don't know, like. Um, Making a stock now with the rad system. I don't really know if that's gonna I don't think that's gonna do anything. I actually think like I shot really well this time. Amazing, huh? Yes. You know, I went. Yes. Oh, you're taping me. Don't take me. I, I take lousy pictures. He's taping us. Good he job, is. Larry. Yes, he is. He's going to break his camera. I know he right. is. Okay, Larry, so you won. It's official now. You sure? Yes. <laughs> if I say it is, it is. Oh, it is. Well, you the boss. All right, Larry, so I'm recording you. Just some, say something for like a new shooter. Talk, that, talk. You know, that want to get into the sport. <laughs> What advice would you give them? Come out and shoot. Come out and shoot. If you're not shoot, you can't learn anything. Don't worry about getting laughed at because nobody's going to laugh at you. Everybody does stupid things, even Eric Cortina. <laughs> Every once in a blue moon. Uh, first time to buy your rifle club? Yep. What do you think about the conditions? Tricky. The mild to horrendous. Mild to wild. Yeah. Um, all right, Larry. Well, congratulations. I'm not going to take much of your time. Thank you. Good job. Sorry, I broke your string. That's all right. You don't know it, people. You've won it three years in a row. It's all right. Uh, nobody better to take it than you, Larry. Appreciate that. Thank you, Larry. All right. So tell me your name. Jason Peel. And uh, FTR. FTR. So tell me a little bit about your gun. Uh, it's a uh, 308. Obviously, it's a speedy build, um, Bartlett barrel, got a uh, bat VR action in it, and uh, Manners carbon stock. Uh, what kind of brass do you use? Lapua. Powder? Margit. Bullet. 20X. 20X. Burger. Burger, all right. So, tell me a little bit how this match went for you. Uh, you know, I came in with the expectations of just trying to finish, honestly, like hoping for top 10, possibly, first big match for me. Uh, really pleased with yesterday. Was excited to be able to shoot with some of these, you know, the best shooters out here and, and hang with them. Uh, and then, obviously, this morning was really good. 
you know, cleaned the, the first match, and as conditions got bad this afternoon, that's when it really, the pressure came, so. What was what was your score this morning? Uh, 212. Is that your first clean ever? First clean of the thousand. Wow, good, yeah. good yeah. time to do it. Yeah. All right, man, well, congratulations, hey. uh, 2018 FTR, uh, TSRA champion, hey, thank long you. range. Thank you, All right, man. Excited. Good job. Appreciate it. <laughs> ah, wait, one more. One more. I asked Larry this. So, how, how long you been shooting? I started uh, shooting competitively last February. All right, so a little over a year. A little over a year. Uh, so, you're, what advice would you give a new shooter? Like somebody like yourself, what would, what would you get, tell yourself uh, a year and a half ago? My best advice would be to, to find a great gunsmith and get the best equipment that you can day one. Day one. You know, and then and then find somebody who's a great shooter and listen to them, take their advice, spend hours with them if you need to. You know, because I can tell you, doing that for me has really elevated my game. So, who has mentored you? I think Speedy more than anybody else. Speedy. Yep. Yeah, that's a good mentor. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, man. Well, Absolutely. Congrats again. Hey, thank you. Take care. Thank you. Larry, so one thing I forgot to ask is how long you've been shooting? 55 years. 55 years. What did you start shooting? Just kind of tell American, me every. American Trap. American Ski. Uh -huh. 22 3 position. Oh, they're going to print them out. Uh, Nashville match, running boar. Yeah, he's oh. kneeling over there in the shade. Uh, European hunting style, shooting with rifle and shotgun. So how long ago did you start shooting F class? 1999. 99. Is that when it was kind of getting going? Yes. You were one of the. J.J. Conway wrote some articles for precision shooting. Uh huh. And he got me started reading those articles. Okay, and then and I, I stopped shooting Palma. Uh huh. And started F class. But you were one of the original uh, rule makers, and you were involved yeah. in all the rules and all that, so... Don't blame me, there was other people involved. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, one question that always comes up is, why is FTR 18, or what is it, uh, nine, 10 kilos or 9 kilos? No, it's 8.25 kilos. Why 18 is it? 18.18 18 pounds. Why is that? Because a group, I got a group of people together that were shooting FTR, trying to figure out what the rules should be, because everybody had their own opinion. And we weighed a Palmer rifle, because that was the origins of the death class. Right. Added a scope and a bipod, which was a Harris, of course, at right. the time. And it weighed a little less than 18 pounds. Okay. So it made the limit 18.18 .18 pounds. That's how it came about. What about F Open? F Open in 2000, we had a meeting in Canada and discussed the weight limits and whatnot. I wanted a 16 pound weight limit, so you could shoot bench rest and anything else you wanted at the same time. Okay. And some people there had guns weighing more than 25 pounds, so they reached a compromise of 10 kilograms or 22 pounds. Okay. And that's it. Interesting history. That, that's true. Oh, you were there. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> All right, Larry. Congrats again. Thank you.